Sir Roy? Yes, yes. yes. You know we've knighted you in the United Kingdom, don't you? Yeah, what? No. You're now Sir Roy in the United Kingdom. Nice, nice. You're going to cause a war with Sir Russia. Roy, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy, and I always loved him since the day I saw him. I love the way he fights, his integrity, the way he likes to go out and be what he thinks a real fighter would be in the ring. And a lot of times, I could tell from watching him that a lot of his early learning came from watching me. But I want him to understand that the one thing that I always did was I liked myself to the game roost all the time. And likening myself to animal gives you a little bit different perspective on how you have to perform out there. Because what people don't realize, is that boxing is survival. Whether you win or losing, it's still survival. On the African plains out there with the lion chasing the deer, the deer getting away from the lion, if the lion don't catch the deer, he don't eat. <laughs> if the deer don't get away from the lion, he ain't gonna eat no more. <laughs> it's survival, whether you the big and baddest or you the smaller weakest. You still have to survive. Does your animal change through your life? Yes, it does. The animal does change through life because you grow up and you get older. And sometimes when the animal starts to get little ones that's following him, you have to look at it and be a little bit more considerate. Whereas when you're on your own, which is kind of where he is now, you stick, you stick with a solitary lion. You don't care about nothing else. You understand me? So it's like, for me, I like it because two things that are good about him that he didn't, didn't know already, he's by himself. He don't have no friends in his weight division. So no matter what happens, who emerges, he don't care, he won't. That's what I like. That's why I like the game roosters take. Because the game rooster stands alone. No other rooster means nothing from his daddy to his brothers. To, no, nobody else means nothing. When he see them, that means death. He ready to go to war right there. And that's what I that's what you have to, in that ring, that's how you have to be. So that's what I like about him. And that's why I was trying to teach him the concept. I watch him fight on several different occasions. He can box his behind off. But he don't want to kill. <laughs> to eat, we got to kill. <laughs> you understand me? That's why I try to teach him about the animal part. Can you respond to that? that boy's talking about that argument? Oh, yeah. Um, my, my, my mind, every time I go to the fight, is out of class in my fight, and my opponent's completely. So that king incident is not there. All, all what I have is to outsmart my opponent. So I can tip tap them, I can do whatever, but as long as each and every round I know that I'm winning and I'm outsmarting them, uh, fast through them and confusing them, that's all I've already ring. Now, um, as we explained, I have to get that uh, animal in two minutes. Once I've managed to fast through them, I've managed to outwork them, I have to go for a kill. Have you found yourself kind of spiritually finding I am getting I am getting there. Mm. I am I am getting there because <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I am but but I am getting there. But it's an incredible skill to be able to survive so easily twelve rounds, thirty six minutes against a man so many times and not get hurt. You know, you're slippery as a meal. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, in a good or bad way. You've always seen something. Yeah, not a killer, but a killer. And like you said, because I'm not saying take away what you've been doing. That's wonderful. But like the song said, there comes a time. 
<laughs> when we hear that certain call, it's time to eat. <laughs> you feel me? So at some point, you got to learn that that time has to come. And you got to make that time come. Because we got to eat. How's it different being a trainer compared to being a trainer? For me, it's no different. Because it's the same thing. It's like people can stop and strategize and say, well, this guy does this and this guy does that. It doesn't matter. When Roy came, it doesn't matter what you put in front of him. He was ready for just whatever. You could have changed it the day before and say, okay, tomorrow you find a softball. I don't care. I got my skills ready to kill. I got everything ready because I don't know what I'm going to need. But I'm going to eat. <laughs> you understand me? So that's what I try to teach him. I'm not worried about what this person does. What he, I know some of what he does, and it's good to know some of the habits just so you don't accidentally get caught cold not knowing nothing about it. But we're not concerned about what he does because we're concerned about what this one does. Point, you point to that, that, that post right there. On the reason you ain't up there is because last time out, you didn't seek to kill. You seek to kill, you're going to be in that post one day. You want to stay down here or you want to go up there? That ain't something I can do. But I got to point it out to him because I'm a realist. I don't play or tell him something that's not true. He don't want that. He want to know the truth. Well, the truth is, that's two killers. To go swim in the water amongst them killers, guess what you have to be? A killer. Or you can't get in the water. Beautiful fault, wonderfully fault, very smartly fault. Lack a little bit of killer instinct and hadn't really came and spent time with me yet to understand what's really happening. Now he understands totally what's going on. Now he has so much fun with it that I'm a little bit afraid because he's going to be having so much fun that it's going to be hard to channel that into a killer. <laughs> because, and if you can get that far ahead of him like that, you don't have to channel it to a killer. Because sometimes having fun will get you so far in front that it's like once a, once a, once a deer gets a fun enough to lead on a lion, he starts dancing around the pride because he's happy, he's good. <laughs> he got this. No sense to be in an all out sprint. Wow, he good now. You understand me? And that could, he, that could very well happen. Because he does enjoy the sport that much. And he has a lot of experience at doing that. So if he gets out there and gets that lead and he's cool with that, don't. Sometimes it can be crazy to be a killer. Because going to be a killer also means you can be killed. So there's a lot of other variables. But that's what his job to figure out, not mine. Of course I do. Of course I do. Because, because why did he seek me out? Because he want to go higher than he is. Right? So if I can't help him get higher than he is, then what good did I do? I failed him. And I don't like failing people. Roy, would you have beaten all the right heavyweights today? Who, me? Yeah, you. Don't ask me that question, because yeah, you know, I, I ain't too smart. You know, I, I think I could be there. I think I beat them all. Today? I think I would have because of my speed. Yeah. But that don't, that don't necessarily mean that's true, because they watch me. They've gotten better, too. They've learned from me. So they've gotten much better. They may be better than I am now. I don't know. Would you like to have 